In this week's news, Jason Derulo recovers from his dance injury, Deviate walks the line of controversy, and is a dancer partly to blame for a recent cruise ship crash? Whew, say that ten times fast. Let's get right into the dish. Deviate Dance Theater is never one to stick to the straight and narrow, and they are definitely walking a line of controversy with their new show, Can We Talk About This? The work explores Islamic extremism and its violent interactions with Western culture over the past few decades. Director Lloyd Newson is curious to see how audiences respond and seems prepared for the discomfort it may bring to some viewers. Uh-oh. We can expect to hear more about this one, that's for sure. Now let's take a sneak peek at So You Think You Can Dance's audition right here in Los Angeles with Star. Orpheum Theater for season nine auditions for So You Think You Can Dance in Los Angeles. We've got Jeff Thacker who we're going to interview as well as Kat Dealey and tons of hopefuls who are ready to make it to Vegas. What time did you guys get here today? 4 30. Hey, I got here at like five in the morning. Say six ish. Tell me a little bit about your preparation for today's audition. Well, actually, I just decided to come last night. Nice. <laughs> yes, and we drove from Sacramento. We've been up all night, so it's purely adrenaline and passion, of course. So what kind of style are you going to bring to the table today? Whatever they want. Um, I'm pretty much a versatile dancer, but I'm a contemporary dancer. That's the style of dance I'm doing today is lyrical, and it's... Um, kind of a mix between ballet and jazz, and it's like smooth and flowy and just really big, and everyone loves it. I'm a popper, so I've been learning how to do that. So. Let me say a little more of that. Bam! Bam! Like New York, LA is a, is a big center for dance, and it's, we've had so many dancers from Los Angeles in our previous top 20s, so I'm really looking forward to seeing who's coming through this season. Basically the format's going to change because we're going to amalgamate the results show into the main performance show as well, right. which I think will actually be really good because it adds another layer of kind of drama and jeopardy to it. My favorite judge, uh, I think Ty Seorio. I love Mary because she's loud like me. I'm terrified of Brian Friedman. I should uh, audition for So You Think You Dance. I think she should. <laughs> I love So You Think You Can Dance! I'm Kat Dealey and we are at the Orpheum Theatre in downtown LA. You're watching danceplug.com. Musical artist Amber, singer of If You Could Read My Mind and other classic tunes, is looking for fans like you to dance in her latest music video. All you have to do to contribute is use your iPhone or Android or Windows phone to record a video of yourself dancing to one of Amber's songs. She's released a YouTube message specifying the details, so if you want to bust a move in her latest video, be sure to make a submission before April 20th. M.I.A. is making a statement with her new single, Bad Girls. She made it clear during the most watched televised event in sports history that she doesn't care what the public thinks by flipping off the world during her performance with Madonna. Now, who knew that being a bad girl had to be part of the choreography? Check out her latest video where she performs a style I'm calling Desert Swag, choreographed by Kati and Machua. And don't forget to check out this video because there's some serious car choreography and you don't want to miss it. Dance Plug is sad to report that New York City ballet legend Sean O'Brien passed away last week. O'Brien was a character dancer for the company for over 40 years, frequenting the roles of Dr. Coppelius, Drosselmeyer, and more. O'Brien joined Balanchine City Ballet only a year after its inception. His talent for the stage will be forever remembered by the dance world. This is Scott Hislop with Dance Plug. I'm here at the Alex Theater to celebrate Dance 2012. This one special night brings together companies from all across California for one unforgettable evening. Shall we? And I did a duet last year. This one is called Silver and Gold, and it kind of shows two different sides of a relationship. It's a work I like a lot. Diane and I have partnered together with funding from the Flourish Foundation to bring professional dance into the classroom. The piece I premiered at Mel Chakra, um, and it looks at um, what we compromise for love and what we regret because of love. So it's about memory and loss of memory 
and the beginnings of a life and the end of a life. It's called Give Me Wings. And I was really excited. We haven't had the opportunity to perform on a proscenium stage in a long, long time. So I thought, oh my gosh, wings, like stage wings. I tend to take everyone's personality and feelings into account so it can be challenging in rehearsal. And I try to be objective. It's almost impossible. Be a plugger, plug in, dance plug. You may be happy to know that Jason Derulo is on the mend after a dangerous dance injury. Rehearsing some dance tricks for his tour, Derulo fractured his neck and has spent the past couple of months recouping. Though the injury has canceled his world tour and is keeping him off the dance floor for a bit, he claims that the time off has given him a new appreciation for what he does. Hopefully we'll see him back to his dancing self again soon. Did you know the highest percentage of dance injuries happen in the foot and ankle? One way you can prevent these is by picking up marbles with your toes. It will strengthen your FHL tendons. Plugger Kim Forbes Camacho is a dancer, teacher, and choreographer in Philadelphia. After receiving her degree in dance from Allentown College, she went on to study under scholarship at Broadway Dance Center and Steps. She has performed internationally and has taught at the Koresh Center, University of the Arts, The Rock School, and more. Kim's students have gone on to perform on So You Think You Can Dance, Fame, and the New York City Ballet. Johanna Sapaki has a great intermediate contemporary combo ready for you this week. Pan's Lullaby will challenge your weight shift and balance, so be prepared to work your core. Somebody that I used to know is a song by Belgian Australian singer and songwriter Gautier from his third studio album Making Mirrors and features New Zealand singer Kimbra. The single made a fast rise to the top and has become a very popular track. Looking for a song with great syncopation for a lyrical or contemporary combo? Then this is the song for you. Looking for a more upbeat tempo for Across the Floor? Then check out their remix track. Ben, what's up with this week's Dirty Dish? Dancers are an important part of cruise ship entertainment. They put on show-stopping performances for vacationers. But apparently, dancer Dominica Samorton was entertaining one individual in particular on the Costa Concordia. The captain of the ship. On the night the big vessel crashed, the Costa Concordia ship capsized when it hit land just off the coast of Italy, which caused over 30 deaths. Searchers found Dominica's luggage in the captain's room, who, by the way, is married, and she admitted that they were together on the bridge seconds before the crash alert. Whether or not she was distracting the captain from his duties is still unclear. We can be sure to expect further investigation. Oh, sounds like someone may be in deep ship. Well, before we wrap up, check out our Nappy Tabs item of the month, the new color block hoodie, which you can get in black, teal, purple, or charcoal, red, and black. Which one will you choose? Thanks for joining us right here on danceplug.com. I'm Benjamin Allen. I will see you next week. Peace and love.